Dropping down the east corner of Dustin Island, I was pleasantly surprised to see the visibility was a bit better. Loads of fish swimming in and amongst the kelp forests here. Most of these fish are the Hottentots and now and again there's a Chalion dotted in amongst them. The rocks here were covered in different animals and a lot of these are the mollusks or the mussels that you find on these particular reefs. And this provides the perfect feeding ground for what we know as the West Coast Rock Lobster. This is just one of the ledges that I came across and there must have been between 40 and 50 crayfish just almost crawling over each other to, to get into the little ledge and hide away from any possible predators. All armed with extremely powerful claws, obviously for holding on to the, the, the seabed and or the muscle beds and are able to use their mandibles to rip open mussels and eat them. And then right next to their little cave was another very interesting ledge for me. And this whole sort of side of this rock was covered in these very impressive anemones, almost like little flowers. It was a very nice area that I dived. Um, it was quite close to the shore but with a very distinctive drop off and it was just teeming with these little fish. And one of the stranger fish that I came across today was the, the clip fish. As I swam along this ledge I actually found parts of an old wreck that had been lying there obviously for years and years and all these little fish were darting in and amongst these plates or these steel plates that had been left on the ocean floor. And here I found two slightly bigger ones that were guarding their what was left of a crayfish skeleton and they Pretty much the masters of disguise, these fish with extremely well camouflaged flanks and sides. It was really nice dive and to get back into some calmer, cleaner water was very nice for me and hopefully this is what the rest of the week is going to be like.